Hello everyone, welcome to Studio FMH. I'm joined here by Nick Feda today. Hi Nick. Hello. I gotta say, it's a great, it's a great opportunity to have you here with us. Um, how have you been? I'm alright. Um, it's close to the weekend, so that's always kind of where I get happier. You know, Thursday night, you got one more day and then <laughs> have time to have some fun. But yeah, exactly. doing well. So Nick, where are you from originally? Uh, well, I was born in the Bronx, actually. Um, and then I moved when I was, I want to say like one and a half. Oh, really? Uh, to Greenwich, Connecticut, and I still live there. Um, that's really been my home, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. I know um, Greenwich is sort of close to Fordham. It is. Why did you choose Fordham? Well, that's a really, <laughs> it's a really complex question. <laughs> um, I have, I don't know, I can't even count, double-digit amount of family alumni that oh, went wow. here. My parents met here, and my sister graduated in 2020. So, I have kind of like those roots that... I almost, <laughs> I'm lucky I liked Fordham because if I didn't like Fordham and I didn't end up here, I would feel like I was kind of like the outcast of the family in a way. But I was lucky enough where uh, it, it seemed like the right fit. And the best part about being close to home is you can be close to home or you can be almost non-existent. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I, you On know, campus, campus yeah, life. Yeah, it if be you're at school, you're at school. If you're home, you're home. It doesn't really matter the distance for me, which is what I think is pretty nice. So you have you been able to sort of find your passion here at Fordham? Yeah. Um, luckily, it, it's been a pretty smooth well i'm in my fourth year now but luckily it's been a smooth transition i guess through that and through all the tough stuff with covid and kind of navigating through that but it's been a, a good transition yeah so nick where do you see yourself in 10 years would you say uh, a lot of places are <laughs> up for grabs i don't exactly know what i want to do yet um sports would be the ideal world but i also am my passion for music has always been there but it grows almost every day i, I have no idea how my dad always says i should try and find a way to combine the two and be mm. some sort of pioneer with that. I don't know if it's really possible, uh, but if it is, I would be, I would love to be the one to find that sort of uh, merging path for the two of those things to cross. Yeah, um, I was so something along those lines, but. Sorry to interrupt. I was about to say, um, I, I heard you were a Fordham Rambler. I am. <laughs> you were I am. a Fordham Rambler. How did you um, sort of discover that you liked music and that's something that you wanted to do alongside your interest in sports? Well, when I was a kid, I used to think that you had to like sports or like music and mm -hmm. acting. Um, so I went heavy, heavy sports when I was younger, but I learned as I got older that you can do the two things. Yeah, sometimes there, there's a conflict with scheduling and all that, but uh, to this day I still do both those things. And I think it's just a fun way to kind of touch on all your different sort of passions that you have with you know sports and music, those, those are my two, so. All right, the real life Troy Bolton, everybody. <laughs> thanks, for having, uh, thanks for having me, Nick. Thanks for letting me interview you. We'll see you next time on Fordham Live at Studio FMH.